Wait. Yeah. Metal is something like the weight. Like in the in the water, it's also in bubbles, water, and and gases in the air. And if I drop the pencil, that's metal because it lands. If it wasn't like that, like air flows around, the metal's really not that heavy. But the pencil in this, the metal is very heavy, so it makes it drop. S same thing with the eraser. It's hard to balance stuff because that you have to put it in the middle so they could be equal. If you just have it on your hand, that's not balancing. That's just having it all on your hand. A pencil is like, if you hold it like this, it's good. But metal is also what all things are made of. Like, the, the wood trash can is made of metal. The wood pencil, the eraser, the cup, even my paper right here. And some markers, water, and everything is pretty much made out of metal. Now, the metal is heavy and light. The air around us is, fills a whole container. It's like you live in a container with air filled all around. And the metal is, is in the air. It's like air bubbles all around, just not in water. So the metal is very light with the air. That's why it floats around. If it was very heavy, you won't be able to breathe up here. You can only, you don't only have to breathe down here. And the water is heavy down here because it pulls down. Like the ocean, there's a lot of it, but it can't just float everywhere. It has to fill the whole ocean. And it keeps steeple and it flats. Then it gets all of that. The, just like the pencil. If you drop it, it's flat. But sometimes it will roll around. That's just the shape. Like other pencils, some of them are not smooth. They have bumps everywhere. Like the pen, it has bumps. Bump, bump. Like, a, like some pencils at school. But then there's some that's just smooth. And then we have a calculator. But what else is the calculator has matter too. The science process of steps, the problem, the hypothesis, investigation, and the inclusion. Now I'll tell you what they mean. The question means a question. Like, let's say, this is not really a science experiment. Will this float or will this sink? It sinks. It sinks to the table. If we just put it on the floor, it will drop on the floor. Some have plastic, sometimes paper, will float around. Well, that's because the air, um, this is flat. But what else is? The hypothesis is an engine can guess that you think the answer of the problem. Now, it's like your thought bubble. If you write it down and it's not right, don't erase it. It's a guess. It doesn't have to be right. It's not for a grade. You at least have to get an idea. Like, if you put, like, something like something all mixed together you might think it explodes it might not it might will you don't know just think that the investigate it's when you do it it's just when you do the experiment and it's like an apple would probably sink or float but also the Investigate, oh wait, did I wait? The conclusion, sorry about that. What you want from the experiment. I, now when I dropped the pencil, I learned that it sinks. It, like 
if you put it in water, it would totally sink. Some things float, like plastic. It, it would probably float. If I open this cup and I put the plastic in, which I'm not going to do, because this is my cup. Then, it would probably float. But if it gets too much on, on top of it, it will sink. What? So, it's what you want. Well, that's all for today. See you later.